Yo, what is up guys? DL Boy here, aka Blue Collar Sports TV. Hope you guys are doing well. A quick post-fight review for David Avanesian versus Kerman Lejaraga 2. This fight was of course a rematch. First fight took place in March this year. David Avanesian pulled off a minor upset in knocking out Kerman Lejaraga that night. I believe he did it in 7 rounds off the top of my head. And at the time, that surprised a few people. But, you know, David Avanesian proved that was no fluke. He's only knocked out Kerman Lejaraga again, but this time he's done it in quicker fashion. In fact, he knocked out Lejaraga in one round in Spain. So once again, David Avanesian goes away from home to fight Lejaraga in his backyard and he knocks him out. Credit to David Avanesian for being a road warrior and getting the job done. The fight started out with Kerman Lejaraga trying to apply pressure, as he does, looking for those big clubbing hooks, whereas Avanesian was boxing behind that high guard, just probing with the jab, looking for the openings as Lejaraga was coming forwards. And um, Avanesian realised fairly quickly that the openings were there. He was trying to catch Lejaraga with a counter left hook from early on, he realised that shot was there from the get-go. He actually caught him with that shot. That kind of buzzed him or shocked him. And then Avanesian realised he stopped Lejaraga in his tracks. Avanesian then put a combination together that culminated in a right hand to the side of the head of Lejaraga. And Lejaraga went down. It was one of those shots where it, it kind of connected on the side of the head. It wasn't a super heavy shot. I think it was one of those shots where it knocks your equilibrium off. And as a result, he dropped Lejaraga. Lejaraga beats the count. Doesn't look too bad. But, um, you know, David Avanesian proceeds to jump right on him again. Doesn't give him any breathing room. And uh, he's throwing punches. Lejaraga is trying to throw back. You know, he was trying to fight David Avanesian off. And in hindsight, those were the wrong tactics. You know, really, he should have been trying to clear his head, hold, move, and evade any, you know, punishment. For the foreseeable, but Lejaraga, being Lejaraga, decided to trade with Avanesian, and he then got caught in between his punches with a lovely left hook to the chin from David Avanesian. That dropped Lejaraga more hard, and he was clearly hurt by the left hook. To his credit, he does beat the count, but you know, on unsteady legs, and uh, you know, the referee gave him the count and decided to wave it off. Now, if I'm being honest, I felt the referee could have given Lejaraga another chance. Don't get me wrong, he was dropped hard with the second knockdown and he was a bit hurt. But not to the point where it was apparent that it should have been waved off. I felt he should have been given one more chance, if I'm being honest. Not taking anything away from Avanesian's performance because, you know, he looked razor sharp. He was countering well and, in all honesty, I think... Lejaraga would have got himself knocked out anyway so I think the result would have been the same but yeah I would have liked to have seen Lejaraga being given a bit more time but that's my only gripe but um yeah very good performance from David Avanesian had a good year you know won that European title back in March as we mentioned beating Kerman Lejaraga the first time second time around he defends that belt and does it in even more emphatic fashion. After this fight, you know, he's a bit of a player. He can get a big fight. He's highly ranked. And, you know, he will be an attractive opponent for quite a few welterweights now. I mean, I would still really like to see Josh Kelly versus David Avanesian. Now, that fight was talked about back end of last year, of course. But Josh Kelly pulled out at the last minute. Now, there are numerous theories on why that was. Some people theorised that Team Kelly realised that Avanesian was the real deal and it was too risky at that time. Others think the excuse of Kelly being ill was genuine, so we'll never really know. But what I will say is this, Kelly hasn't really been, well he hasn't seemed keen on fighting Avanesian since then, so make of that what you will. But I would like to see David Avanesian versus Josh Kelly next. I think that would be a really good fight. In my opinion, David Avanesian deserves a fight of higher exposure. 
And I think Josh Kelly would be that fight. So that's the fight I would like to see for David Avanesian. Another fight that I'm throwing out there is David Avanesian versus Sergei Lipinets. A battle of two Russian welterweights, two exciting guys. That, that would be a really good fight. So that's another name out there I'll throw into the mix. So onwards and upwards for David Avanesian. As for Kerman Lehalaga, you know, two bad defeats this year. Two knockout losses. It's going to be tough to come back. But, you know, I think he needs to have a couple of fights at regional level. Get a couple of wins. And then try again at European level. But European level will certainly be his ceiling, unfortunately. But yeah, there we go. Good performance from David Avanesian. He proved first time around wasn't a fluke. He won this fight in convincing fashion. Share your thoughts below. Peace.